Helm, and I'll, I'll, I'll come back to you since you teed this up. Um, it, it's so jarring to listen to Democrats not just make the case for their candidate in the final days, but to be prepping the country for uh, what, what Trump is doing. I mean, you've said it more plainly than I am struggling to get the words out of my mouth, which is he plans to cheat. Right. And, and it's not just that he plans to, to cheat. He's laid out the roadmap, the, the tactics and the strategy he has spent. You know, I mean, I know everybody on the show who's heard us talk about this knows this already, but I'll say it again. He's told us that, mo- that voting by mail, that, that, early, that the early vote, that, that, that the absentee ballots, except for the ones that he casts in Florida, uh, that they're all illegitimate <laughs> and that there's part of a rig system. And so he is going to say, certainly, on election night, there is going to be he's going to stand up and say that the only vote that we that counts is the election day vote. And if the polls are reliable, uh, which obviously is a huge caveat, but what we've heard now consistently from from polling over the last couple months is that Democrats overwhelmingly are going to vote early and by mail and that Democrats are going to vote overwhelmingly on election day. And so Trump is wagering that he will be able to say in a, in a bunch of battleground states that he won the election, he won those states, he won those electoral votes because he won the majority of votes cast on that day. And in some of those states, many of those states, the counting of the votes will not be completed on election night. Florida is an exception. We all expect a Florida, which has dealt with a lot of early vote for a long time, will vote, will tell us who won on election night, but there are other states, Pennsylvania, many of these other states where we assume it could take some number of days after election day to get a final tally. And Trump standing up on election night and saying, the only vote that counts is the election day vote. I won the election day vote and now I am president. And anything that comes after this is an attempt by Democrats to steal the election. When what Democrats are really trying to do is just count all of the votes that have been cast legally by people in battleground states in advance through totally proper means, through totally tra- proper methods, through traditional means and methods, things that have been in place in America for for decades. Uh, and people have voted increasingly through those means in past elections, including, you know, the t- t- mil- tens of millions in the 2016 election. Trump is going to say all of that is an attempt not just illegitimate, an attempt of Democrats to steal what is rightfully his. And I've said on the show before, the president has the ability to do all kinds of nefarious things. One thing we're talking about is relying on the Supreme Court if he can get this nomination through. But another is, I mean, don't out, over, don't uh, rule out of your mind the possibility that the president on election night says, I'm going to go to Pennsylvania and I'm impounding all of the uncounted ballots so far and sends federal marshals into uh, polling places uh, where, 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 vote, where votes are being tabulated and tries to impound those ballots. Uh, that is a hypothetical, but not one outside anyone's reasonable mo- way of thinking right now. The president is telling us what he's going to do. We have to pay attention to it. And I agree with every Democrat who says that we have to get ready for it if we're going to hope that this election is not l- stolen out from under our, our eyes by the president. He's telling us he's going to do it. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.